Hey, welcome back. I'm so excited to be making this video. My name is Christian Zabajila Bila. I'm currently living in France, uh, the city of Lyon. So Lyon is a city that a lot of people don't know. It's, uh, it's not Paris because France is not just Paris. So I used to live in Paris, but I'm currently living in Lyon, which is a really beautiful city. I really want you to Google Lyon and to come and visit me. <laughs> Lyon to me is, is uh, first of all, Lyon is better than Paris. I know a lot of people will be mad, but in terms of quality life, of course, Paris is good because you have, you know, everything is happening in Paris, but Lyon is like the little Paris, but better. So more life, more space, uh, more good people, people are chill, and also the architecture is good and the food, the food is the best. This is a fact, Google it. So what do I do? I'm a filmmaker, I'm a photographer, I'm a storyteller. This is what I do. I've been doing this since full time since 2012, but since I was born, I always had a camera. My father is a photojournalist. I grew up in the household where a camera was always around. So uh, today I'm telling stories. So filmmaking is mostly my my first way of expression. So that's how I talk about things that I see around me. That's how I share my experiences, but I also do photography on the side. So what's my favorite social media platform? Mm, honestly, Instagram. I think you know, you know, Instagram is, is, is really the place that you can find people fast. And also I like the way Instagram algorithm, it's so easy to, uh, to find people based on location, uh, hashtags, and also just the explore feed, which is really good. So Instagram to me, and also the way Instagram is looking now that we have. So if you are into photography, you're only going to have photography related uh, uh, feed or pictures or people, you know. So that's really the focus why I'm into Instagram, really. Or maybe something else, you know. I am using a lot of Instagram for work, not for what you think. So why am I a visual activist or why does representation matters to me? I'm a visual activist. I've been a visual activist for pretty much since I've started uh, this journey, this excited journey of storytelling. I've always, uh, you know, I left my country. I was really young. I went straight up to China just to tell you a little bit of my story so you can understand. I was really not even aware that I was black. I mean, I know that I'm, I was Congolese, but that conversation of race, uh, color, racism, discrimination, because you have this certain passport, you have this certain color, it was new to me. So when I first moved to China, that was my first experience of being black. And also all my experiences, everything that I experienced in living in those Asian countries really made me wanting to showed them that I was a different person because people always have, you know, a bad story behind their head about what you think about you. So it was really my duty to use all the knowledge that I had of storytelling. So today the image we have of Africa, obviously it's, you know, diseases, poor kids, uh, walking around with bare foot, uh, people that need help, always help, always help, always help. And when you look at Paris or New York, you always have these images of, oh, this is where you have to be. When in the reality, it's not. You don't want to be in New York because it's so expensive. The quality of life, it, that's just a different conversation. I want people to look at my country, Congo, and to go like, oh, I want to travel to this place because it is a beautiful country. And I don't want people to believe in what they see. That's why it's so important for me as a Congolese photographer to document the reality of my country, but mostly of Africa. Because today when people say, uh, when people show images of people in certain countries in Africa, they will not say, hey, look at Sierra Leone, look at uh, Botswana, look at uh, Tanzania, look at uh, Johannesburg. They will say, look at Africa. You know, that's why to me today, I identify myself as an African photographer because I want to change the whole aspect of misrepres misrepresentation of Africa. I think that was long, but I really had to say that. So the biggest misconception that a lot of people have about my race, about black, being black, being African, is that we always need help. 
you know, not that it's bad to be helped, but in a way that we cannot do anything without having the West to help us. You know, when in reality is we are the one helping everyone. You know, if you see today in terms of resources, in terms of um, even people get inspired by African art. We see today, just look at all the museum here in France, in all the countries, it's all inspired by Africa. So the biggest misconception that people keep having, even today in 2020, is that black people are dangerous, black people are this, black people don't know how to do this, black people are always uh, portrayed this way. That's why we have many people who still don't feel like they can go to certain African countries because of the misrepresentation that the West has um, portrayed, the way the West has portrayed African countries. So we need everyone to join. We need people, photographers, video makers, uh, artists, lawyers, everyone to join the campaign because it's only together that we can be strong. Like I can take you another example if you want. You cannot punch just with your finger. You need to do this to punch. We need to unite voices. Every story is worth it. No matter what you do, people need to really look at the, the multiple faces of African people. We are not just dancers. We're not just football players. We also excel in many things. So please join the campaign. Uh, share your story. I'm sharing, my, I'm sharing my story. I want you to also share your story because this is important. And um, if we don't stand up and reclaim our narrative, somebody else will do it for us. Somebody else will keep telling our story the wrong way. So that's why um, it's so important to see this as a way to make sure that a lot of people listen to our voice. So me as a visual activist, as a photographer, as a storyteller, I make sure that people listen to what I have to say around me by showing positive pictures, videos, People need to see us in our multiple faces. And I think that was it. That was my last message. I'm waiting for you to join.